The seven base units, or fundamental units if you're studying AQA, are the kilogram, the metre, the second, the amp, the kelvin, the mole and the candela. The candela is a unit related to light levels, which you don't need to worry about for your A-level. All other units are called derived units. So the newton, the joule, the pascal, the coulomb, the ohm and all the rest are derived units. Derived units can be expressed in terms of the seven base units and no others. For example, the joule expressed in base units is the kilogram metre squared per second squared. Another way of saying this is that one joule is equivalent to one kilogram metre squared per second squared. How do we work that out? We choose a formula for energy. Let's say we choose the work done formula. And we look at the quantities in the formula and ask whether their units are expressed in terms of only the seven base units in our list. Here, distance is measured in metres, so that's OK, but force is measured in newtons, which is not on the list. So we substitute another formula for force, let's say F equals MA. Now we've got mass measured in kilograms and acceleration measured in metres per second squared, so everything is now in base. Only when everything is base should you swap quantities for units. So now we can write that the units of work done are the units of mass times the units of acceleration times the units of distance. I would recommend you use negative powers instead of backslashes as I think it's less likely to lead to confusion. Now all we need to do is simplify and there we are. Notice all energy formulae must give us the same answer for this question, so suppose we had instead chosen the kinetic energy formula. This is actually quicker because the half has no units, the mass is in kilograms and the velocity is metres per second. So we can switch to units straight away. And we get kilogram metre squared per second squared as before. OK, let's try a difficult example. Suppose the exam question asks us to prove that one volt is equivalent to or can be expressed in base units as one kilogram metre squared per amp per second cubed. We choose a formula for voltage. Now, this might take you a while to work out which are the best formulae to choose as starting points. Here, we're actually best off with the definition of voltage, work done per unit charge. But work done is measured in joules and charge is measured in coulombs and neither of those are on our list. So we substitute formulae for both. Now we've got meters, amps, and seconds which are all okay but we've still got newtons which are no good so we substitute a formula for force and now we're good to go. Mass is measured in kilograms and acceleration is measured in meters per second squared so now we can swap quantities for units. And then I'd recommend expressing the divide by as multiplied by negative powers instead. So we get and then carefully simplify. Notice it doesn't matter what order you have the base units in. A second type of exam question asks us to prove that an equation is homogeneous or homogeneous. This simply means prove that the units of the left hand side are the same as the units of the right hand side. We do this by expressing both sides units in base units. Here is an example. 
Let's take the left hand side first. This P is pressure, which is measured in pascals. Pascals are not on the list, so we need another formula for pressure. Area is meters squared, but force is Newton, so another formula needed for force. And now we're fine. Kilograms and meters per second squared. So now we can swap quantities for units. Expressing the denominator using negative powers, we get, and then simplifying. Okay, now for the right hand side. Now, in fact, the units of the right hand side are already all expressed in terms of the list, as we have density, that's kilograms per meter cubed. G, the acceleration of free fall, that's meters per second squared, and height, that's meters. So in fact, we can go straight to units this time. And carefully simplify. If you want to, you can now write a sentence to say, Oh look, they're both the same, but you don't have to, you've already earned all the marks.